you guys. Welcome. Welcome, Profitable Mindset Podcast listeners. <laughs> so happy you're here. Today, this is kind of an unplanned live that I wanted to jump in and share with you some things on that will help you all, many, many of you, um, because someone in this group yesterday, Betty May, posted that she says she has an issue with trying to sell her products locally. She worries about what everyone will think, sorry, I'm reading over here, or how they will react. How do you get past this? And you guys, I wanna share with you, I know I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> I wanna share with you some ideas that will help you, some practices that will help you tremendously. And here's why. I teach hundreds of farmers in my marketing class every year. And what I've noticed over the years is there are those who take the material I teach because it's not rocket science, anyone can learn it, and they run with it and they build profitable, successful farms. And then some of the people I teach struggle because they feel frozen to try what I teach. They're afraid to implement it. They are waiting for inspiration or motivation to implement the things. So they have all the things. They have the knowledge to build a hugely profitable farm, and there's something standing in the way. And Betty May posted it perfectly yesterday. It's this fear of what people will think, fear of what people will say. And the first thing I want to mention to you or help you in all this is most Everything we do in life is because we want to feel a certain way or we want to avoid feeling a certain way. So all the actions we take are for feelings. And Betty May is scared, and all of us, not just her, but we're all scared of feeling certain ways. And I want to let you know that a feeling cannot kill you. It's not going to kill you. The best, most important thing you can do in this situation is feel the feeling. You've heard that phrase like, feel the fear and do it anyway. You guys, we all have fear. We all, <laughs> confidence is something you have to practice and build. So it's very normal that all of us feel fear. And my marketing students who are building hugely profitable, successful farms, it's not because they lack fear. It's because they're willing to feel the emotion that that brings up. They're willing to feel worry they're worrying, willing to feel anxiety. They're willing to feel scared, insecure, inconfident because they know it will pass very quickly. If I'm worried that someone, I'm going to advertise and someone's going to say, oh, who does she think she is advertising? I'm going to feel shame and humility for one minute, right? Maybe two minutes, <laughs> maybe three. But that is so easy to trade off and feel that emotion of being humiliated. And no one's humiliating me. It's in my own head. Feel it for a minute and then go on. And you know what happens when you feel the emotion and then you move forward with the thing you learned that's going to build your profitable farm and you move forward with that is it becomes less and less and less. So the worry, the anxiety about what people are going to think when you are willing to feel that fear for the moment it happens, it lessens over time. So pretty soon you become like those of us who've been doing marketing our farms and building our profitable farms. It's not because we were born with more confidence. It's because we felt scared more. Okay. So that's the first step is I want you to be able to feel scared. I want you to be able to know that it's not going to kill you. If you step outside your house and you say, Hey, I have this wonderful thing. I want you to buy from me because it's going to change your life and you feel a little bit of shame. You can feel that and go on. That's the first step, being able to feel it. The second step, which um, then Lori Jo Hernandez jumped in and commented on, is she's noticing she needs to practice in life and it has changed my life and that is intentionally planning the thoughts you think. Here's why it's important to do that. Our thoughts create our feelings and our feelings is where we take action from. So um, if you think a thought, like uh, Betty Mae, the poster, was thinking that I feel, if you think a thought that someone, if I advertise, people are going to judge me, and then she said she felt worried, the action you take on your farm and in your life from a place of feeling worried 
is different action that you take from a place of feeling confident. And you are in charge. You get to decide if you feel worried or confident. I'm going to show you how to change that. Every morning from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., I am sitting in that chair right there with a notebook next to it you can't see, and I write down my thoughts because I'm in control of my thoughts. I pull them up and I write them down and I notice what feelings those thoughts cause. And if those feelings are causing me to take positive production, productive actions or not good actions, and I change those thoughts, okay? That's what I want you to do. I'm gonna give you a very specific example now. Um, uh, where's Betty May's post? Okay. So this is what I would love for Betty May to practice. And she's going to know what thoughts work best for her, but I'm going to give suggestions right now, just so I can offer you all an example. What I do from five to six is something like this. Currently, um, Betty May is thinking if I advertise locally, people will judge me when she thinks that thought it creates worry for her. She told me that in her post. So then she feels worried. What kind of action does she take when she feels worried? No action. She is not advertising locally, even though there's a ton of people that would buy from her. What is the result from that non-action because she feels worried? No sales, struggling farm, right? That's an example of when you think a thought that causes a feeling of worry, the action you take is not going to help you build that profitable farm. The beauty of this is you have the choice right then to think a new thought. So she's going to play with some new thoughts, something like I suggested here. Think a thought instead of, I have a product that is changing lives. You guys, if you're raising products on your farm, whether it's food or flowers, vegetables, eggs, whatever, you are raising a product, growing a product, producing a product that is changing people's lives. When you think to yourself, I have a product that is transforming families and transforming people's lives, what feeling is a result of that thought? A feeling not worry by any means. It's going to be something like energetic, excited, and eager to share, right? If you think I have a product that's changing people's lives, you're gonna feel eager to share. What's the action you take out of feeling excited, energetic, and eager? You jump out there and you tell your, your local community, hey, got this thing, it's gonna change your life. It's amazing, can't wait to share it with you. What's the result of that action? Your local community feels your excitement. They see your eagerness. They want to try your product. The result is you build a profitable farm. So that's an example of what you can do every single morning. You look at the thoughts you're currently thinking that are creating your action that is not building your profitable farm, and you play with the new thoughts, the intentional thoughts that are creating actions that you take that build hugely successful, profitable farms. Night and day, when you learn this trick, not trick. It's a way of life. It's something we should be taught in school, but we're not taught in school. When you learn how to do this and you practice it every single day, give it 90 days and look back, you will see how your life and your bottom line has improved. Give it a year, you will change your life. Your life will be like night and day from a year ago. So just remember, look around at the results you have in your life. Every result you have comes from your thought that created a feeling that you took action from and created the result. So if you don't like any result you have in life, maybe you don't like your house, maybe you don't like how you treat your kids or your husband, maybe you don't like that you aren't going to the gym like you said you want. All those results that you don't like are because of thoughts that you had in your mind. Beauty of this is you can change those thoughts. So if you want different results, take a look at your thoughts and change them. This little exercise, can't tell you, you can tell I get so excited about how transformational this is. Okay, let me look at the lessons here. Um, Breezy says, your lessons are so valuable to all salespeople, not just farmers. Thank you, Breezy, for saying that. It's so true. And in this group, we are gradually getting more and more people because of different businesses because they are life transforming no matter what your business. So thanks for pointing that out. 
Oh, Breezy's a business development specialist for reverse mortgage brokerage, and I use your lessons every day. Thank you, Breezy. I'm just so thankful you're here and that you made that comment because it helps other, it helps inspire others to know that they're thinking, oh, I'm not a farmer. This won't help me. It absolutely will help me. Jennifer Lamaster, I can honestly say it does lessen over time. Thanks, Charlotte. You're so welcome. You guys, when you practice feeling the feelings, the negative, the ones you don't, don't like, the insecurity, you feel it. You feel it in the moment. It lessens each time it happens. Jennifer has experienced that. I've experienced that. So go ahead and feel those feelings. It's transforming. Matt Willis says, hi, Charlotte. What would you say is the single most important thing to build a loyal customer base when just beginning? Take our free email course, Matt Willis. I'll link to it, okay? When I get off here, I'm going to link to it. Start with that because it talks about the technology of email marketing, but also the relationship building. You've, you've got to have an online presence in today's world and you've got to be funneling those people to an email list. So that's where you're going to start. I'm going to link to it here and you'll see that. You guys, so excited that you're here and even considering doing this work of intentionally uh, planning your thoughts so that they create productive feelings, productive actions, and a wonderful life, all right? You don't have to tolerate any of the results you haven't liked in the past. You don't have to live that way, all right? I can teach you how to. So thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a fabulous day. And thank you, Betty Mae, for asking the original question. I will link or I'll tag you in here too so you can see this. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.